constructed by Tari in Tasmania. The company has a shareholding of SMKC, which is a trading house company in Japan. Uh, the major shareholder is a Malaysian company, Tana and Plywood. This is the first overseas investment for Tana and Plywood. There's two mills that have been built, one in the Huon area, the second one at Smithman. The Smithman mill has been operating only for a few short weeks. Construction started eight months ago and our first shipment went out in early November 2008. There have been two mills built by Tay in Tasmania. The first one in New Hillen, started in 2007. The second mill constructed at Smithland cost $35 million. It uses the latest machinery. There's a whole range of countries involved. There's Japanese and Malay technology. The dryer is German. The boiler is built by a company from Malaysia. And the wrapper is from Finland. So we have a range of state-of-the-art machinery. The mills were able to be built for a couple of reasons. One was the security of the source provided under the Regional Forest Agreement. And secondly, because there is a ready investment size where construction could occur in a relatively short period of time. The building is uh, 200 metres long by 57 metres wide. There are two lines, early lines currently within the building, but the building has been built so that there can be an additional line put in. So the current capacity is about 150,000 cubic metres, 115,000 each year which will come from forestry. I'm looking for private property resource, but the third line we could use about 200,000 cubic metres per year. So with additional resource, and a particular plantation resource, we can expand production here. The buildings are also located so that in the future, once this business is proven, we can look at further value added. In total, there's about 130 jobs in Tasmania. It's about 77 down south, and we expect over 50 jobs in the north ranging from loader operators, permit operators, dryer operators. There's also the associated transport and payment product to the wharf. For the Smithman operation, there will be about 65,000 cubic metres exported each year. The resource is 150,000 cubic metres from forestry Tasmania in the south and 115,000 cubic metres per year in the north. The whole process is to take low value logs and make them into high value per year. Logs which are normally used for wood chip exports or are exported as pearls now pearled at this mill to make high value products. The major markets are in Japan and China. The Japanese market is construction coal, uh, flooring, and there's also container flooring for China as a, a market. The flooring market is a specialty nuclear product. It's called Eco Oak and it's either 100% nuclear or 70% nuclear and it's for high quality flooring in Japan. So material which would normally be used for wood chip is used for high, which is used for high value flooring. It's a beautiful product that uh, looks like marble. We're here for the long, long term. Uh, we have a 20 year supply agreement. We have the option to consider extensions of that. We're looking for beyond 20 years. The key to the whole process is the sustainable resource. We are a long term sustainable resource. The market relies on the certification. We have PDFC certification through Forestry Tasmania operating under the Australian Forestry Standard. We also have a chain of custody certification so that we can guarantee the product from the forest to the customer is sustainable.